Hello everyone, I'm Serge. And I'm Cern. And what are we going to be doing this time? So we're going to do an overview of abdominal point of care ultrasound in our feline patients. So we're going to show you the five sites very quickly that we look at in the abdomen and then we'll actually go through each of those individually to talk about what questions we ask and answer. But to start with, we're just going to show you a quick overview of the five sites we scan. That's right. So the first site we want to do is palpate the subxiphoid, which we're going to do right now. Very important to do that, right? Absolutely. And then we'll put the probe at that subxiphoid. And what we want to do, as you can see here, we want to try and pick up that liver and the region beyond. So you want to get that liver at about a 45 degree, and then we're just going to fan through uh, all planes in the long axis. We'll come back and talk about the questions we ask and answer, but that's kind of the ideal image we want where we've got the liver, the diaphragm, and the region beyond visible. Once we've done long axis, we're going to roll into short axis, and again, we want that liver and short axis, and we're going to fan all the way cranial and caudal at that site. And again, we'll talk about the questions we ask and answer. So once we've finished that site and done a quick evaluation, we're going to move back to the umbilical site. So we're going to come back essentially to midline on uh, our patient right where the umbilicus is. And again, we're going to scan that in the long and short axis. And this is one where you're going to see lots of uh, loops of intestine. And you want to make sure that you do fan towards the uh, tabletop and away from the tabletop. And then after long axis, you want to go into short axis. And you're going to do the same thing then. You're going to fan forward, cranial and caudal, and then also rock the probe down to that gravity-dependent region uh, while we're in a lateral position, for example. So that's our umbilical site. We're then going to move back to the urinary bladder site. And the ideal thing that you want to identify at that urinary bladder site, you want to be able to try and pick up that uh, urinary bladder. That's one of our key structures that we're going to look for there. So you try and locate and center that urinary bladder at that urinary bladder site. Now. And this guy, that urinary bladder looks like it's going to be very, very small because we probably recently urinated. Let me just change the depth on there. And that is a key thing is think about the depth whenever you're trying to find each site to the most ideal. And there it is there right there. There it is right there. And you can see that sometimes finding an organ can be difficult and you don't find the organ or the region of interest. Two things you can do is sweep and slide like we did right there. And that brought the organ into interest. And then once we found that by sweeping and sliding, we're going to fan through all planes of the urinary bladder. And we'll do that both in long axis, making sure we get the apex and the trigonal region. And then we're going to rotate into short axis. And again, we are going to fan uh, on and off the urinary bladder, uh, checking all planes in short axis. That's three of our uh, five sites. The next site that we want to identify is going to be the paralumbar region, non-gravity yep. dependent. In this case, we're in left lateral recumbency. So our right paralumbar site is the one we're going to uh, aim for. And essentially, we uh, locate that uh, last rib and the sublumbar muscles, and we're going to place the probe in that region there. Uh, when we do that, uh, one of the things we really want to try and identify, which uh, Dr. Schlub is finding here, is that kidney. So you'll find that kidney in long axis. That's one of the key structures. We fan all the way through that, all planes in long axis. And then we're going to rotate into short axis. We're going to rotate 90 degrees. And again, there we are in short axis. And we're going to actually fan again all the way off each pole of the kidney in short axis. So that is the other thing that we want to try and obtain at that right paralumbar site. When we've done that, and we've fanned through the uh, right and uh, paralumbar site, we want to get that last site. That's the gravity-dependent paralumbar site. Our patient's in right our left lateral recumbency. So to get that site, especially in this cat here, we're going to actually let our cat roll itself up into a standing position or a sternal position. Uh, and I'm just going to turn our volunteer around here. And then Serge is going to go after that last kidney, that left paralumbar site, now that we've scanned all the other sites. That's right. So easiest way to do that for this site is to palpate the 13th rib. And that left kidney will be usually right back there. The kidneys tend to be higher than you think. So that's going to be important, and there we go, all right. right off the bat. So, and again, then, that's the last site. We're going to fan all the way through, all planes in long axis, and then Serge is going to rotate again into short axis, and he's going to fan all the way off one side, all the way off the other side, and that is the left paralumbar site. Now, the other thing we're going to say when we scan all five sites, we just showed you a quick demo. That's about how long it would usually take to answer the questions in our clinical patients. We'll go through those specific questions at each site individually. But you want to scan, especially in our cats, our cats, we want to scan them in the position they're most comfortable yes. that causes the least stress. Low stress handling is something that we should be aiming for. So you saw that we scanned uh, our patient in a uh, lateral position, but you could do all five of those sites in short and long axis in a standing position. You just got to tuck that probe uh, into that subxiphoid and then get those five sites. Yeah, and same thing for sternal, except of course some of the more gravity dependent sites, but if a patient wants to stay sternal, you can answer most questions in sternal as well. 
And that concludes the quick overview, five sites of the abdomen in our feline patient using our abdominal point of care ultrasound. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Until next time.